As we take a look at your three day forecast, we still have some stray rain we're going to have to deal with Thursday and Friday. I do think we'll get some pockets of dry time though and check out these temperatures after a high in the upper 60s today. We should be a little bit warmer in the upper 70s. This is actually going to be trending above average for once as we head towards each afternoon. So that'll be something to look forward to. Satellite and radar still very cloudy. There's a little bit of light rain now in northern Mifflin County, but really watching what's happening down towards York and Lancaster, Chanceford, just south of Wrightsville, also including Providence, Lancaster, and also just far eastern portions of the county. You've got some rain working its way in. In spots where rain is happening, there may be some fog too, so just be mindful of that. But all of this is happening because of the stalled out low pressure system that we've been tracking truly all week. Okay, it hasn't moved much and it's going to continue to throw us rain as we head through the end of the week forecast. This next batch is what we're keeping an eye out for. This is going to push into the state. Could bring us a few rumbles of thunder, but severe weather is not expected. This will continue as we head through the day today. Now overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, you can already see those rain showers coming back in from the south. Could make for another rainy commute on Thursday, but this is what I'm holding out hope for. Things start to dry up for the second half of Thursday before we bring in more moisture to end the week from the south. So we will see some drier time through the second Second half of Thursday, those warmer temperatures may be a good time to break out and get in some fresh air. By the time we get to the weekend, though, we're still going to be keeping a close eye on the potential for a few stray showers as temperatures slowly come down to the mid 70s for highs. So it is going to be seasonal. But again, with the clouds and the rain, we're going to have to keep an eye on what's happening with Tropical Storm Helene currently looking at gust speeds up to 75 miles per hour. This storm may reach category three strength as it it impacts Florida and then takes a backward bend towards the west. With it impacting the current cold front, though, it could still throw us some rain. And looking ahead to next week, we're still going to be tracking that chance for showers.